Hi, I'm Laura Harbison, broker owner of Realty Executive Southern Nevada Properties. I have just arrived at Henderson Hospital. I'm going to be meeting with Doug Geinzer of Las Vegas Heels. We're going to be talking about the state of healthcare in the Las Vegas Valley, uh, what's going on, what's here, what's coming, what's being built. And so I'm really excited to share all of this with you. So let's go inside. Doug Geinzer is the CEO of Las Vegas Heels. Las Vegas Heels is a coalition of medical and wellness industry professionals, organizations, and institutions devoted to improving the access and delivery of healthcare in Southern Nevada. They are devoted to improving the quality of healthcare and to communicating industry developments to the people of Southern Nevada. Doug, thank you for being here with me today. Thanks for having me, Laura. It's a pleasure to be here on the show, and it's, we're going to talk a little bit about the healthcare in, uh, industry here in Las Vegas. As you can see right behind me, we've got Henderson Hospital. It's one of the newest hospitals built. Uh, Las Vegas has the tendency of building a hospital almost two or, two or three years. We have 14 acute care hospitals throughout the valley. Uh, it's an amazing place to receive healthcare just because there's such easy access. So we're walking out here to Union Village. Union Village is one of the largest projects going on here in Las Vegas. It's anchored by the Henderson Hospital that we just saw. Uh, but Union Village, when it's done, is going to be one of the largest integrated health campuses in the United States. You can see apartments and condos being built over here. You've got the Las Vegas Athletic Club that's going to anchor the back corner there. Uh, but it's going to all be integrated into one healthcare delivery system where all of the, the, uh, the communication systems tie together. For those patients that are having challenges, they'll be able to transfer in between properties and those records will be portable with that patient. Uh, we've got a project downtown called the Las Vegas Medical District uh, that's going to be home to our new UNLV School of Medicine. So you're going to have academic medicine built there. Uh, UMC, which is the county-owned hospital, is retrofitting the entire facility. Uh, they're building brand new parking garages. They took an entire area downtown called the Medical District, and it's going to be high density of hospitals, nursing facilities, imaging facilities, uh, Optum Cancer is building a cancer care uh, facility down there, uh, but again, it's being anchored by academic medicine with UNLV, the nursing school, the medical school, just a tremendous amount. On the adjacent side of the medical district, and it's actually part of it, you've got the Lou Ruvo Institute for Brain Health. I was about to ask you about that. World renowned for those people that have got memory disorders, whether that be dementia, uh, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's disease, all of that goes on right there. People fly in from all around the world to that level of memory care. Uh, a lot of people don't realize we've got the Cleveland Clinic that's right here in Las Vegas. Although the medical district is going to anchor the UNLV School of Medicine, brand new school. Right out here in Henderson, we have Toro University, uh, which graduated 181 doctors last year. We've got Roseman University that's going to be opening up a medical school pretty soon, and a firm commitment statewide to improve the quality of health. Our governor last year gave uh, about $10 million to the expansion of graduate medical education and their training right here in Las Vegas. So part of the benefit of becoming an academic medical center or an academic medical area is we're able to develop programs based upon what our population needs are. So we know that we're one of the fastest growing areas in the country. We attract a lot of the retired community. And because of that, we're developing programs that are specific to treat that community. Geriatrics is an area that we're building both residency as well as fellowship programs around that to make sure that we're growing the doctor base to take care of our population. Excellent. Thank you, Doug. I appreciate you being here with me today and explaining what's going on in the healthcare world here in the Las Vegas Valley. It's been very informative and I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. We're proud of what's going on in healthcare and uh, I think the community will be very satisfied with where we're heading. Yeah, yeah. all great news. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having me. So I hope you enjoyed hearing from Doug Geinzer today as much as I did. Uh, being the CEO of Las Vegas Heels, he definitely has his finger on the pulse of what's happening in Las Vegas healthcare and it was great information and uh, all positive news for people wanting to move into the Las Vegas Valley. See you later.